I had a question in the comments box on one of my videos posted by Jack and he asked how could he use the information printed onto a map to calculate the current magnetic declination in his area. Now let's face it most people will just go online and get the declination from their area and that will tell them how much they need to adjust their compass by so you can follow a bearing. But there are times when you know you go up into the hills and you haven't got the declination. You know, you forgot to do it online. So you go up into the hills and there's no internet connection. So what do you do? You need to be able to calculate the declination just from the information that you have available. And most people, when they go walking, all they've got is a map and a compass. <laughs> so I'll, I'll drop this onto your screen. As you can see, I've got a UK map showing the Ben Lomond area in the Scottish island. I know this mountain very, very well. <laughs> here's, here's me at the top. And I also have a map of the area around, around Wilgarup in Western Australia. And I must admit, I don't know this area at all. As you can see, these maps have different layouts, they have different information on them, but they both give you the declination at the time the map was printed, and they give you a predicted and expected yearly change to that declination. So, Firstly, you need to remember from your school geometry lessons that a circle is divided into 360 degrees. Okay, And each degree can be divided into 60 minutes. And each minute has 60 seconds. This can be slightly confusing you know, if you're not used to doing adding and subtracting in degrees and minutes. So it may help to think about it as hours minutes and seconds rather than degrees minutes and seconds you know because we're more used to hours now don't forget that declination can be east or west so if you have on the map it says that your declination is i don't know west at the moment some figure west but that the yearly change is going to be east then you would need to subtract that from the initial declination so don't forget the declination can be east or west and if it's east to start with and the yearly change is going to be west, then you subtract it. If it's east at the moment and the yearly change is going to be east, then you add it. It's just like adding up hours and minutes. As an example, we can see on this map of Ben Lomond, which is in the Scottish Highlands, it was printed in July 2018. And at the time, the declination was 0 degrees, 30 minutes west. And the expected yearly change was 12 minutes east. Now, as we started with a westerly declination, this will decrease towards zero and then carry on eastwards by 12 minutes each year. Oh, the reason there are two slightly different magnetic norths and uh, true norths on this map is quite simply as there's printing on both sides of the paper. Now, this map was printed six years ago and the estimation was that the declination would increase by 12 minutes east each year. So that's 72 minutes in total. So if we add one degree, 12 minutes to the original declination, which, you know, in 2018, then the estimation was that in, by July 2024, it would be zero degrees, 42 minutes east. I've just checked the BGS website, which says that the actual declination for July 2024 will be zero degrees 34 minutes east as an example of how accurate this is um, if you walked 5,000 meters say five kilometers at only eight minutes you know error you would miss your target by just 11 meters now this is a really important point the newer your map is the more accurate the declination estimate will be Quite simply, you know, as I said, the magnetic North Pole, which is what governs the declination, it moves around erratically. And no one can really predict, you know, precisely what the declination is going to be in three years' time or in a hundred years' time. It's just not possible. To show you what I mean, let's have a look at the map of Wilgarup in Western Australia. Now, this was printed, as you can see on the index, in 1975, which is 49 years ago. And at that time, the declination was four and a half degrees. They're giving it as a decimal rather than degree. So four and a half degrees is actually four degrees, 30 minutes. Okay. 
Now, it was estimated that every three years, the magnetic north would move 0 0.1 degree. Don't forget, again, that's, they, they put it as a decimal, but in effect, that is six minutes. So it's going to move six minutes. So every three years, for 49 years, the declination was predicted to move six minutes westwards. 49 divided by three times six equals, <laughs> let me do this, 49 times three times six equals 98 minutes. <laughs> Somebody will correct me if I'm wrong. 98 minutes, which is 98 minutes is one degree, 38 minutes. So if we add that to the initial declination when the map was printed, which don't forget was four degrees, 30 minutes. So if we add one degree, 38, we get six degrees, eight minutes. <laughs> I was doing it in, my, I was doing it in uh, hours and minutes there and then converting it back. So six degrees, eight minutes. So the map predicts that the declination in Wilgerup today will be six, de six degrees, eight minutes west. Now, the actual, de I actually went on and checked this earlier on, just out of interest. The actual declination today in Wilgerup in Western Australia is two degrees, um, two minutes, two degrees, two minutes west. So... Remember that prediction from the map was made 50 years ago, 50 years ago. It's amazing. And after 50 years, they're only out. Their, their error is four degrees, six minutes. So that is, you know, it's quite impressive. Well done, the Australian map makers. I don't know. Sorry to people in Australia. I don't know what your uh, national mapping agency is called, but well done to them. So after 50 years, they're only out by... Four, say four and a half degrees. Now, once again, if you're walking on a bearing and you are out by four and a half degrees, well, it would, you would be, miss your target by approximately, well, in fact, almost exactly 400 meters. Once again, I'll put the link in the description box that you can see how to work that out with your calculator. Now, don't forget the main point about the indexes and the degrees and declination and everything that's shown on a map is that the magnetic north pole moves erratically nobody can predict what it will be in three or four years time never mind in a hundred years time so it is a prediction but it'll it's better than nothing you know it's um, have a look at the index on the map and it will tell you how to uh, it'll, it'll give you a start so Jack I hope that answers your question don't forget, providing you have a relatively new map, adjust your declination by the amount predicted times the number of years since the map was printed. Most importantly, the newer your map is, the more accurate the declination prediction will be. Thanks for watching.